Y'all start juggling, y'all start practice juggling. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You good? You got something? Let's go, let's go. All right, next we're going to do a partner break. So when I blow my whistle, I want everyone to get toe-to-toe -to -toe with the partner in each of the squares. Ready? Over here. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with a partner. And then I want you to find your own square. Well, no. That's true. 
They're free. Toe wrestle, toe wrestle. Try step on your partner's toes. That doesn't mean stomp on their toes. Well, we know who's the most competitive people in class. For sure. <laughs> I love the sound effects. <laughs> Taylor's running for a life. Got the most touches, the most touches on the toes. <laughs> There's violence. Oh. <laughs> Make sure y'all stay in your own house. <laughs> Alright, next is hop passes. Grab the ball that's fighting right square and pass it 25 times. As fast as you can. Good throws, right in front of your partner. Not wild. Like the little robot. <laughs> Alright, good. That's it. it. Alright, now, now set your balls where you got them from on top of the uh, frisbee. Then when I blow my whistle, I want everyone to get in groups of three. Groups of three. That was a sad whistle. Sad. Alright, good. Y'all gonna uh, split up another part. Alright, uh, now. I want this group, hey, y'all going over there to that room, over there. Kristen, y'all going to the middle room. Chelsea, y'all going to this room over here. Then y'all going to split off. Go ahead, you go down. Go in the middle. And yeah, let's go over there. Yeah, you go in the middle. Y'all bring y'all's room when it's five times. Brian, go on to the middle. Extra points for the group that gets the, everybody in their group to be able to get into double dutch today. All right, today we're going to be doing entries, exits first. So, yes, good. All right, great. All right, so double dutch, I'm going to get in this room. I want everyone to get where they can see me. The big part of this is the turners. So, the, this turner right here is going to go clockwise with the left hand and then counterclockwise with her right hand, okay? And then, so when you're doing entries, you want to stand about six inches next to your part to the turner. And then when this rope is at its highest point and this rope hits the ground is when you want to jump into the rope, okay? And then when you exit the rope, after you get a couple of jumps and you exit the rope, you want to exit diagonal from on the other side of the other turner. When this rope is at its highest point and this rope is hitting the ground, just that opposite as inner, okay? So, y'all ready to try it? Brent, you ready? Yeah. Over here, Mark. I want y'all to enter from the left, from the left side of the turn. Good, good. Enter from the left side of the turn. Okay, can you do this? Is it hurting your arm? You might want to go a little slow with that. Both ropes need to hit the ground. Uh, almost had it. Keep going. 
for jumping in those shoes. Come on, she could do it. She could do it. You could do it. See the window. One. It, it, look. Yeah, ch choke up on one. You know what? There we go. It's, <laughs> oh yes, you got it, Queen B. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's what I'm talking about. Awesome, awesome. Now you gotta get the other tape in. Get your partners in. Don't say I can't. Say I'm having difficulty. Right. Get all the way in the middle. Ha <laughs> ha! 
can get in and even get one jump, you know you've kind of got it lit. Because the entry is the hardest part. trying to jump a little too high.
Now you know how your kids feel when you're trying to teach them something you think is so easy. Right? It's not. Hey, Chad, we got in. I think she said she was clean. Hello, Chad. It's so hot. Oh, so they're both set of turners. Chad, please have both turners back. Hey, Chad, we got in. I think she said she was clean. Hello, Chad. It's so hot. When you get close enough, go deep. Yes, you look awesome. She is awesome. Look at that. Just keep your eyes on Joya. Keep watching her. I know. Oh. I know. Well, she almost did. I mean, yeah, just Kate almost got out. Almost. I have never seen a class this successful. Well, it's the teacher. That's it. The teacher. Awesome teacher. You got your skill set? Oh, no? All right, you try it now. Come on. Oh, like you see how JT's jumping? Doesn't he make it look easy? Yeah, yeah make sure y'all do a big turn. Big turn. Great. Make sure you stay in the middle. When your feet come too high, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yes. Now you just got to get out. Get out without messing up. Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We got two more minutes, and we're going to switch. Two minutes. Do you want to try it again? Don't brag too early. Oh. So we have to get go around and get out. And that's a hundred on the on the double duck. If you can do that. Teddy bear. Oh, I was it her hand? That, I think her hand caught it. Um, they're going to switch teachers in one minute. So wait till they start this guy's going to put up the jump ropes. I know. Uh, well, oh, I heard that on camera. <laughs> Patrick didn't give anybody time to be bad. Hmm. Y'all were such a good class. 
Thank you for helping us out. Yes, how, how do we throw a frisbee? You have to, okay. Let me show you guys. Hey, everybody hold your frisbee? Or your flying disc? Okay, whenever you throw it, you call it maybe straight, okay? So you're going to keep it flat, okay? And you're going to put one finger, your pointer finger, kind of on the frisbee and hold it with your hand. You can thumb on top and the rest of your fingers on bottom. So when you throw it, you have to kind of flick your wrist out and make still a slight flat surface and make it straight and just flick it out to where you're pointing towards your partner. Good job, Brent. Y'all got it. Oh, good job, okay. Daryl, you want to be Taylor's partner? Since we don't have a... Yes, he made it curve. If you tilt it, it'll... Oh, you may have to throw it with your other hand, huh? No, I'm not... Okay.
Yeah. It was like boomerang time. It is a boomerang. If you throw it right, it'll come back to you. If it hadn't have been so cold, we would have went outside for this lesson. It's just a little too cold outside. Huh? Yeah, but we'd have had to have coats on. And jump ropes and coats don't go together. Okay. okay, now we're going to do the fingertip catch. So whenever your partner throws it, you're going to try to catch it on your fingertips. Like Justin, watch it. Right. I'm going to try to do it. You're going to try to put your finger in the middle. Since you're over your finger. This is more difficult with the sponge ones. It's easier with the... Almost. Oh. Interference. Good job, Taylor. <laughs> Love the facial expressions. <laughs> Y'all get frustrated so easy. Easily. Very easily.
That's a pitiful <laughs> whistle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll make it louder. That's better. All right, how many groups do we have? Uh, groups of five. One, two, three, four. Give me one more person. She's hiding right now. And Rodney, I could. I get a play with this, Okay, great. I want these teams to come over here, follow me to the mats. And we're going to line up. Okay, I go. Groups of six works. Yes, it's a competition. Lost Chelsea. They must, they can't talk to the enemy. All right. right? Well, All right. So for this game, we're going to, it's a relay race, okay? So you're competing against each other. So the first person is going to run up to the mat. You're going to grab, I have a bean bag on the end of each mat, okay? You're going to grab the bean bag, do a frontwards roll, and then put the bean bag at the end of the mat. Once you place it there, you're going to run back to your team and sit down, okay? The next person, while they're competing is a good idea. The giant dwarves. I like that. Yeah. 
Can they do a shoulder roll oh, backwards? Yeah. You, can, you can do a shoulder roll too, so that'll be easier. Instead of question? going over your head, you can go over your shoulder. JT, you got a question? Yeah, our mats are going to need to move in. Yes, they, they, they're concerned with the disadvantage they've got. Don't jump backwards and hurt yourself. Yeah, you are at a disadvantage there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shoulder roll. Dometer won't stay on. I'm over it.
so let's have a practice run. You know, All just right, let yeah, them. Let's just practice really quick. Three. That's not the way the game's played, though. Today, that's for sure.